Does embarrassment look funny on animals? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning! And happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> now listen, I love this time of year because I have so much to be thankful for. I'm telling you. Jesse, Locke, oh, you're in the list. Shepherd, okay. having the best job in the world. Yeah. Stevie, the crew, and obviously beans. But do you know what I'm most thankful for? I think so, yeah. What? I'm most thankful that I haven't embarrassed myself on the internet like all the animals in the videos I'm about to show you. Okay, so you built up to not being thankful for me so that you could just introduce this episode. That's cool. I'm thankful for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm, you want me to list what I'm thankful for and not include No, you? no, 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 you don't have to. Let's I, just play the game, man. It's time for, on a day to be grateful, we're giving thanks this isn't us. Now let's watch this pigeon try and fail to drive a city bus. Can somebody check on that pigeon? Good gracious. Yeah, it was very realistic. He, he did fail. Yeah, okay, you ever heard of the uh, subreddit, there was an attempt? I, feel, you're, I know you're Reddit, man. Uh, almost, almost. I've lurked on many, but. You've made an attempt I don't, I don't to learn about yeah. this. <laughs> well, that's fitting because this is essentially a place where people share videos of attempts, people trying different things, and they all have something in common. They always fail. Oh, good. Uh, and more importantly, they fail miserably and usually unexpectedly. Double good. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of these videos, all of which feature animals. Ha! Animals. We love animals. Oh, gosh. And I'm gonna Animals. stop the video right before the thing happens, right? You're gonna yeah. see the setup, I'm gonna stop it, then you're gonna choose from multiple choice answers of what actually happened. If you get three out of six of these correct, okay. you win a very special memento. All right. Are you ready? Just a 50%. And I'm not talking about like a DVD Blu-ray of Memento, the movie, it's better than that. See, that was so confusing anyway. In our first video, Link, an upstanding young man attempts to rescue a little kitty from a hole. Let's watch. Okay. It's a big freaking hole. That's a well. Rescue mission does not go as planned. I'll give you that much. So what goes wrong? A, the kitty hops out of the bucket and scurries right into right. another hole. Oh, another hole. B, That'd be hilarious. the terrified kitty shows no gratitude and attacks his rescuer before running off. C, okay. the man drops the bucket back into the hole with the cat still inside when he hears his truck rolling down the hill, whoa! Or D, the kitten is rescued but politely declines and tells his rescuers that he's a doomsday prepper with a large underground bunker and he's perfectly happy down there, thank you! I, I, I mean, A is the funniest, I hope to see that. I was gonna guess that the cat just jumps down back into the same hole, which I guess would be D, but you know, D D is it's, never it's the never answer. It's never D. Okay. Um, I think maybe that's all. I'm hoping it's A scurries down another hole. Or false. Let's see if you're right. Jump on it. Uh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's not a bottomless hole that it yeah. jumped in. Oh, you thank God see, I can you, see the bottom of the hole. You can still see the kitty. You, you're the right. The cat there. was laying on its side for a second yeah, I in think the bottom the of the hole. The cat is totally fine. The cat is fine. Listen, the moral of the story is let introverts be introverts. <laughs> yeah, We've been real. in our holes for two years. Don't make us go out into the world. We want to go back into our holes. Yeah, yeah. Any hole will do. <laughs> But the thing about introverts is if you dangle a bucket, they can't help but jump in. Yeah, they will jump in a bucket. So it's like, I've got many, catch 22. I've got many an introvert to a party with a bucket. <laughs> okay, you've seen those videos. This is me lowering a bucket. I don't know what it actually. Well, it could be a number of things. <laughs> milking a cow. It's milking a long teated cow. You've seen those videos where they hold a blanket up in front of a dog. Yes. And they drop it and they're gone. Yes. Yeah, I love those. Yes. Well, this is what this guy was going for, but something else happened. Tiger blanket, it's confusing. Okay, get, can I have some options? Or... What happens next? Does the dog, A, attack the tiger on the blanket, there, thereby biting the man in the nuts, bringing the trick to its knees? B, become so concerned for the whereabouts of his best friend that he drops an immediate poof right on the floor. <laughs> C, not care that his owner has disappeared and decides to hump the living daylights out of the blanket, 
Or D says, I've already seen this on TikTok, effectively killing the vibe. You can't let your dogs watch TikTok if you want them to fall for this trend. Let's see, it's Thanksgiving, right? I mean, what does that mean? Are, are you gonna show people a video of a dog pooping on Thanksgiving? I mean, there's, I mean, have you seen my mama's giblet gravy? People, <laughs> people are still stuffing their faces. You, I don't want to see no giblets jumping out of a dog, but uh, I think crotch attack is the most likely. But I'm going to go with hump attack. Ooh, hump attack! I want to see that hump. Let's see it. He's gone. What you gonna do? Oh, he's just cuddling it. And cuddling. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is some lazy humping. I mean, I'm gonna lay down first and then hump hey, this blanket. Sometimes when my back's hurt, yeah, you, you just gotta <laughs> that's go, all I can do. You just gotta go pro. That's all I can do. And I will say, we have reached out to the owner, and this dog is officially the mascot of Good Mythical Evening. Retroactive. I feel that. Okay. I definitely feel We've that. We've worked it all out. All right. Somebody watch that blanket. Hey, tomorrow is Black Friday. Want to remind you uh, that's when our Black Friday sale goes live. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah, right. All right. So from tomorrow, Friday, November 26th of 2021 <laughs> through Sunday, November 29th in of case 2021, you're watching in another year. Uh, everything store wide on mythical.com is 40% off. I just said everything. Store wide. Did I hear that right? Com. Did I hear that right? Forty percent off. Sounds kind of crazy, but wait, there's more. All monthly plans of Mythical Society. We talk a lot about Mythical Society. There's lots of stuff you can experience and own and and talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With yeah, lots, lots of things. You want to get in on that? Just do your hand motion. Well, all monthly plans of Mythical Society will be twenty five percent off. That's a quarter. So make sure you head over to mythical.com and mythicalsociety.com from Friday, November 26, 2021 through Monday, November 29, 2021 to get in on those 40% and 25% deals. 2021! Oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. Here we have a couple attempting to do the noble thing and release a captured mouse back into the wild. Oh, it's so sweet. He's in a tube, like a hamster tube. Run free. Singing to it. Oh. Okay, so. Now, it, I did see the mouse the, exit. The mouse exit. Was I supposed to see that? You were, because what happens next? A, the mouse escapes into the park only to be swooped up by a bird and taken away. <laughs> B, you think, that's, you think that's funny? No. B, the mouse turns back toward the couple, up the, wom up the woman's pant leg, and she freaks out accordingly. C, the mouse darts out at full speed and head first into that tree stump and the people have to nurse it back to health again. Or D, the mouse continues to run and doesn't stop. He travels for miles and miles around the world so fast that he eventually travels back through time, back to a world in which he was never captured in the first place. It's like that Superman movie, you remember that one? Back in the day. I was thinking that, that like a hawk is gonna come mm. get that, that booger. That uh, I want to see the the mouse going up the pant leg, but I just think I've, I've seen enough of this shaky home video, phone video stuff. Yeah. Like the coverage of that would not be satisfying enough for you to select it as an option. Coverage? You're thinking about coverage? I mean, it's like oh, that this w I'm following the mouse. It's going up the pant leg, and I'm filming my partner. You, you know, you that's ever a, seen a GoPro? That's a lot to be GoPro goes be right ready up the leg. For. I'm going for, um, and I'm not gonna laugh, and I, did, I didn't laugh and I won't laugh, a bird swoops in and gets that mouse. Okay, let's see. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh my God, did that really just happen? <laughs> you know what, now that I've seen it, I'm actually not having to fight off laughing. You laughed. Yeah, I but do. I feel I feel I just, like I'm crap. trying to make everyone else feel, listen. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't have done that in the first place. I would have just done a mouse trap that killed the mouse at home. It's yeah. You know, I'm sorry. Yeah. I am one of those guys. Humanely though. Okay, listen. This may make you feel better because actually, Link, that was not a TikTok video. It was just a deleted scene that was uh, featured in the director's cut of Stuart Little. <laughs> so, 
I mean, it, it's a win-win. The director had so much more. The, the original <laughs> cut of Stuart Little was like four hours long. Yeah, and it had a lot of mouse death in it. Okay, next we have a buck that is simply looking for someone to shack up with during mating season. Oh, horny buck. Oh, wow. That... Okay. Yeah, you, okay, so I mean, you waste no time with that one. Get right into the it action. Doesn't, hey, it doesn't take a deer long. So that's a deer, that's a real deer copulating with a, a fake deer. Oh, pretty observant. I don't know why the fake deer's there. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you some options. A, a German shepherd runs in and mounts the buck, but the buck angrily chases him off. B, a German Shepherd runs in and mounts the buck, but the buck doesn't care and keeps on doing its thing. Okay. C, the deer turns out to be fake and its head falls off. Or D, her boyfriend, the Milwaukee Bucks logo, <laughs> strolls up and things get heated. <laughs> Menage a bad dog? Yeah. Menage a good dog? Mm -hmm. This is distasteful. Head falls off. Well, I knew that that was, you. T I knew that there was a fake deer the whole time. I mean, yeah, well, I, yeah, but you're from North Carolina, you can spot a decoy. From a mile away. Uh, it's one of the things you specialize in. You can't pull a decoy on us. I there's no way another dog gets involved in it, or a dog. They aren't dogs. Uh, head falls off. Got to be. Uh, and I would love it if it is. Let's see. <laughs> oh. I love how the deer just like immediately hopped He's off. Like, I guess I got to get out of here now. <laughs> uh, oh gosh! He's well, there. you know He's what? Like looking around for wildlife cams. Like, am I gonna be? <laughs> am I gonna be press charged? I, no one. Silver lining to, to this little exercise is that I got that one right. Oh, and not only have you got that one right, Link. You're four for four. You might I'm, get a I'm clean so good. sweep on Thanksgiving. You got to go two for two now. I can smell a fail from a mile away. Okay. The next video. Sometimes it's in my own purse. We actually found this video in our own homeland of YouTube. And in it, we've got a couple of pooches trying to show each other who the big dog around these parts really is. <laughs> All right, two against one, three against one. Okay, angry dogs. What happens when the fence is finally opened, okay? A, yeah. a truck loaded with food drives through and they all chase after it together. B, the angry dogs turn sc into scaredy cats and immediately run away from each other. C, they each plant their noses in each other's butts to form a butt sniffing circle. Uh -huh. Or D, the Paw Patrol work whistle blows and they get back to the, into their uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is that what happens? All is that what happens we, when the Paw Patrol? We, our, our kids are too old to have ever been into the Paw Patrol. Right. We, thank missed, we missed that window. Thank, thank goodness we got kids out of our system when we did. Look at us now, right? Well, we did Thomas the Train. That whistle blew quite a lot. That would be quite a change in tenor and tone of this event. The butt sniff and snorkel? The butt sniff and snorkel? The butt sniff and snorkel. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the butt sniff and snorkel. C. Butt sniff and snorkel is C. <laughs> All right, we got the gate opening. Yeah. And they're, they're not gonna go around it. That's hilarious. Look, they're, they're only wanting to stay. And then they're like, nope, not interested. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, uh. And then, okay. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the comedic timing okay. of animals, yeah, man. Yeah, that's good, man. Animals are so comedically timed. Okay. That's better than a butt sniff is No, this is actually, this is the true fact. I'm not I'm not making a joke at this point. So, th there has, it has been observed. Hold on, you've been making jokes? Yeah. It, it is observed by people uh, who know things about animals that dogs, when fenced in, get frustrated with the fence. And I'm not, it's not a joke. They're, they get frustrated with the yeah. fence. So, I know that there's some sort of like life lesson in that. Mm. Like maybe it's like, Open borders. I don't know. I don't. I. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But uh, they're saying, think on that for a little bit. I'm a ham man. <laughs> Link, you just blew it, man. You're four out of five. Shoot. You've still won, but you can't get a queen no sweep. queen sweep on Thanksgiving night. So this last question is really just for nothing. Finally, cityscapes and sitting on toilets make it easy to forget, but people are animals too. I said that earlier. Even Scottish people. <laughs> For our final video, a Scottish man has some trouble pronouncing some very run-of-the-mill words. Let's see, tarantula, burger, purple, bricks, vocabulary. <laughs> well, I, I mean, listen, man, I, I can't even do an imitation of that. People are animals, too. He really, really struggles 
with the next word, okay. okay? Even more than he has so far. So what is the word or phrase that nearly destroys this Scottish bow? Okay. A, Peter Parker. B, Peter Parker. Orangutan. Orangutan. Or orangutan, as we said until like we were 28. Uh, orangutan. C, burglary. It's gotta be burglary. Bur or D. Burglary. Sabaro. Like the rest of us. Sabaro. Sabaro. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I don't like, know how to say it's it, man. It's it's Scottish or not. It's, it's, I don't know. I think, I think, I think Sabaro. Sabaro is going to be the reason that uh, for the apocalypse. But, you know, it, it technically it's not Sabaro. That's not how you say it. Burglary. Bar, bar, it already has a Scottish thing in it. Mm. So he's going to short circuit with burglary. C. Let's see. Burglary. <laughs> Man, you could just, I mean, dude, I know how you feel, man. Snot Michael Puff, dude, yeah, man. Exactly your self esteem like just that. like disintegrates yeah. over time. But this just does really confirm not my choice, but my realization that I'm actually Irish, not Scottish. Bargarder. Bargarder. about that. Bargarder. Okay, Link, you got five out of 10. That means that you're still, uh, five out of six. That means that you still are a winner in our eyes. We're, oh, here you go. Right, right here. Do, I, do you have my, yeah, my, you, my prize? A very special memento. Oh, wow. This is legit. Look at that. Because second place sounds better than last. Yeah. Second. We second just, to who? I, well, we just didn't know you, I mean, we just didn't know that you would pull it off. And, uh, well, you know what? Like, well, you thought you would? You, <laughs> you've been trying really hard at this show for a really long time. And I just wanted <laughs> I, I wanted something to just commemorate that. Happy Thanksgiving, man. I mean, I bet you I could turn this into a one. You probably could, but you might cut yourself. I've reached my pat me on the shoulder quota. So <laughs> don't do that anymore. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, it's Belle. And Belle's dad. And we're touring NC State, home of the Wolf Pack. And now it's time to spin. The Wheel of Mythicality. It's Belle in front of the Bell Tower. Yeah, that's in where NC they are. State. I get it. Our alma mater. Click the top link to watch us match crew members to the thing they suck at in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Our Black Friday sale starts tomorrow. Get 40% off items storewide at mythical.com and 25% off all monthly memberships at mythicalsociety.com through November 29th.